Microsoft Link can be used to communicate with colleagues in a variety of ways, including instant messaging, voice calling, video calling, and screen sharing. Normally, Link will automatically run when you start up your computer. You will notice the software icon in the system tray in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. The icon looks like this. If you do not see it here, you will need to run the software manually. To do this, click on the Start menu here and click All Programs. Then click Microsoft Link and finally Microsoft Link 2010. Please note that if you cannot sign in to Link, you will need to call the help desk at 457-2600 and have them verify that your account is active. The first thing you will want to do is add colleagues to your contact list. To do so, simply click in the field here and begin typing a name. Search results of the name you are typing will be displayed below. To add a colleague to your contacts list, click on the plus menu here and you will notice that you can add them to a group. I have a group called My Team and a group called Other Contacts. Notice that you can select Add New Group. This will let you create a custom group for this colleague. In this case, I will add this colleague to My Team. You will also notice that once you have some colleagues in your contacts list, you can simply drag and drop names into different groups. Once you have your contacts list populated, you can start communicating with colleagues. To do so, you can simply right click on a name and you will notice a variety of options for communication. Send an instant message, make a call, start a video call, share your desktop, etc. Now, a best practice to remember is to always begin a conversation with instant messaging. So in this case, I will right click on the person I want to communicate with and I will choose send an instant message. This brings up a new window, which is the conversation window for interacting with this colleague. I can simply type a message down below and hit enter on my keyboard, or I can click the send button here. This sends the message to the user on the other end. The user will click on a pop-up in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and the conversation window will open. Once inside an instant messaging conversation, you may decide that it is better to continue the conversation through voice. To make a call, simply click the call button here. You may notice that some employees have a desk phone or even a mobile phone listed here because you can also call any phone number using Link. In this case, for a computer-to-computer -computer call, you are going to choose Link Call. When the conversation is over, you can hang up by clicking here. Now, I'm going to show what happens when someone calls you. You will notice that a pop-up appears asking you to accept the call. Simply click here to answer. When the conversation is finished, simply click Hang Up here. However, you can also put the person on hold by clicking here. To resume the call, click Resume. You may also decide that you want to transition to a video call. Simply click the video menu here and choose Start a Video Call. Let's see what this looks like when someone else starts a video call with you. Notice that you will need to click here to accept the video call. You will also notice here that there is an option to Start My Own Video. I am now in a video call. To finish, you can click the Hang Up icon here. Finally, you have the Screen Share menu. 
Sometimes you will want to share your computer screen with your colleague. To do so, simply click Desktop. The user on the other end will need to click Accept Share. To stop sharing, simply click the Stop Sharing button located here at the top of the screen. Let's see what this looks like when your colleague initiates the share. Notice that you have the conversation window at the left, and you see your colleague's computer screen at the right. Sometimes when you are in a screen share, you might want to give your colleague control of your computer. This can be done by clicking the In Control menu at the top of the screen. Another function of Microsoft Link is the ability to send files. This is done by clicking the paperclip menu here. Now, there might be some situations when you would like to start a conversation with a group of colleagues. This is where creating groups comes in handy. For example, if I want to start an instant message conversation with everyone in the My Team group, I can right click on My Team and select Start an Instant Message. You can also do this with voice and video calls. For more information, visit the Microsoft Help site at the following website address.